Good morning, friends and fellow traders. This is Doug Campbell with Right Way Options, and this is the morning market prep video for Friday, November 6th, 2020. Well, my goodness, those bulls continued to push on through with really strong results yesterday, pushing us right up into price resistance of these charts, downtrends in a lot of charts, and testing those resistance levels. And this morning we're looking at maybe a little bit of a pullback. So what does that mean for today's setup? Well, how about we grab ourselves something to drink, let's settle in, and let's take a look at the technicals and see how we might want to approach the market for the day. Get ready for the Friday edition of the Morning Market Prep video. So this morning, everyone, we see um, Dow futures or market futures pulling back just slightly. We're at this very second, we're looking at Dow futures down 155 points, which honestly is a very modest pullback after a, a more than 2200 point run since last Friday's low. So pretty amazing. But let's take a look at the price action here in the charts and take a look at some of the technicals and how we might want to approach today. If we look um, at this extraordinary rally, and notice that we are pushing right into the downtrend um, area here of the Dow, and that we have some price resistance in this area that we're trying to deal with as we move on higher. We have some the possibility heading into the weekend, a little bit of uncertainty on the weekend. We still don't know who's going to be the president. Um, I made a comment in this morning's blog that um, it's a little bit like we're waiting on the divorce court to decide who's going to get us in custody. And, <laughs> and it seems to be kind of the case. It's just this back and forth ebb and flow that may take quite a lot of time before we have a final decision. Um, an amazingly close race. Um, so um, let's keep a close eye on this. There is that possibility, even though we're very, very bullish in this market, there is that possibility after such an extreme rally to the upside that a little bit of profit taking come, could come into the market. And I'll show you a T2122 indicator suggesting that could be the case. But we'll want to watch that pretty closely. Now, even if we do get a pullback, um, even if we do get a little bit of a profit taking wave, it may not be too severe. And the reason I say that is because our technicals have so dramatically improved here um, this week that um, we could hold um, a pullback would be fairly substantial. As you can see, we could pull back um, several hundred points just to test the 50-day moving average as, as support. So kind of keep that in mind. We're, we're a pretty volatile market still with these big price swings. So any pullback could be pretty substantial. But if we can hold in some price support levels in the chart, we could be in pretty good shape. And actually, that would be a healthy thing for the market to do. The other possibility is maybe we don't get a full pullback maybe we just rest in here we get a bit of a consolidating rest in here for a while that um, could also be a very bullish sign for the market setting us up for that next upside move so watch that closely unfortunately as we're rallying and and kind of watching um, this election um, we've kind of been missing out on the fact that uh, the virus numbers are really surging in the country. We just um, yesterday topped more than 120,000 new infections. And there's beginning to be some concern. Moody's put out a report suggesting the possibility of um, high risk impacts to the economy um, as these numbers continue to surge. And you kind of have to wonder, even though there isn't government restrictions out there, um, if people will self-restrict and not be going to restaurants and things like that, um, slowing things down. So watch that closely. We do run that risk right now. And without in, in this envelope where we believe we're going to get a stimulus package, we don't know what it might be like, what it will look like. It may actually be a little bit late now, considering the fact that we this this next wave um, um, could impact business substantially 
um, through the winter months. So watch this very closely. It can be a lot of back and forth, a lot of volatility still to deal with in the market, but dramatically improved um, here in the, you know, just a really short period of time. Let's take a look at the SPY. SPY is uh, even stronger than the Dow in the sense that we, we didn't have to slip back below that 50 day moving average. Uh, on Wednesday, um, we held that 50-day moving average uh, and pushed on through. Now, we tried to break through the downtrend here in the chart yesterday, but you can kind of see that we we cut that, cut that resistance level and now we're pulling back a little bit. But there's really nothing wrong, particularly in this chart, other than the fact that a dip could dip pretty heavily um, back toward that 50-day moving average if we were to really sell off or some fear come into the market. Just remember when we have extraordinary rallies, we can have really painful pullbacks. It doesn't mean there's anything wrong with the market. It just means, you know, it's the natural ebb and flow uh, as people might uh, start wanting to take profits heading into the weekend. Let's watch this here as well. There is some price support that could catch us prior to that 50 day moving average. And with that 50 day moving average now starting to show that hint of turning back up, we could have a little bit of price area right in here, hold that support. And once again, keep in mind that we don't necessarily have to fall. We could just take a longer consolidation rest here um, at these highs as we continue to challenge whether or not we're going to have enough energy to break through or not. Let's take a look at the cues. NASDAQ, um, a very strong reaction in the last few days, also showing a little bit of pullback here this morning. By the way, these candles that I'm showing you here is the pre-market. Um, um, action right now in the chart and as you can see we've pushed up here really really strongly and that 50-day moving average once again is starting to turn just slightly to the upside and we are testing these resistance levels in the chart now one thing i gotta say with the uh, cues is we really did break out yesterday we broke that downtrend um that down it's just looking uh, a little bit stronger than the other two indexes now slipping back below if if we were to gain some selling in here and drop back into this gap that could show a little bit of uh, provide a little bit of stress and a little bit of technical damage here but with that 50-day moving average turning up some price support in this chart right through this area um, I think even a pullback could um, uh, well would be healthy for the market and also remember, we could consolidate sideways here as well. So technically we're in a much better place, but having surged so much so fast, a pullback is not out of the question. So watch that closely and be careful not to chase. I know that fear of missing out is very strong right now in the market and that desire to chase in to trades right now is very, very strong, but be careful. Just remember the pullbacks could be substantial and they could be a little bit painful if you get in too late on this rally. Let's take a look at IWM. Now IWM, I gotta tell you, I think IWM may be coming back around and could possibly become one of the market leaders here. And IWM, as you can see, pushing up through a major level of resistance here in the chart. And this goes back um, all the way through 2018. And as you can see, pushing back up through this level, if we can prove to hold up in this area, that could be a substantial uh, move here for IWM and may be starting to show a little bit of a rotation into um, more value type plays, um, a little bit more of that small cap because we pushed the large cap so high that maybe we may be rotating to a little bit of small cap. Now we're going to need financials and we're going to need um, energy sector stocks to perk up a little bit. And they are starting to show signs of a little bit of recovery. We'll look at those in just a bit, but keep a close eye on that as we try to push back up. IWM may be a place to put a little focus into. Let's take a look at the VIX. Now that VIX um, is continuing to pull back and that is a good sign, that fear starting to drop out of the market here a bit. And I, I gotta tell you, the, the VIX has been acting so odd for months. 
um, it is nice to see that fear starting to ebb just a little bit in the chart. Let's notice we we broken we had that broken um, downtrend where we broke through to the upside and we have not held that as support. That's a good sign in the chart. Notice that we finally also broken down below that 50 day moving average. However, with a little bit of selling coming in today, we could pop right back up into that area. Let's also notice we have this uh, bit of a wedging pattern here, a bit of that uptrend showing in this chart. So it is entirely possible if fear really were to come back in, we could catch that support in this area and ra rally. But let's watch that close. Right now, it's really starting to look um, a lot better on that fear scale. Um, kind of a concern still because it's 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 as if we're just ignoring what's going on with coronavirus, but we'll want to we'll just want to keep a close eye on this. It, it it's helping to have some of that fear dropping out of the market, helping uh, for, particularly those of us that are option traders, helping out in reducing some of the costs of those options and the high risk of that extrinsic value. Let's take a look at T2122. T2122 is the four week new high, new low ratio. And I get lots of questions about this indicator. This indicator does not tell us um, does not tell us when or if we're actually going to turn anytime soon, but it does give us clues. When we've reached kind of um, overbought conditions or oversold conditions, and you can see we, we have periods of time where we can kind of linger up here around a top, um, and, but we do eventually see a selling wave, a profit taking wave come into the market. So we have rallied a long ways really, really fast. Heading into the weekend, election numbers still uncertain, coronavirus numbers rising, it really wouldn't be out of the question to see that little bit of a profit-taking wave where we sell off a bit heading into the weekend. So consider that carefully. And it's also possible if we get a really good employment situation number that we continue to rally a little bit more or hold maybe more of a, that consolidating move heading into the weekend. So watch that close. Both of those tell us that it would be a little bit dangerous trying to chase stocks long um, heading into this weekend at this point. And, be some high risk trading if you did that. So be careful. Might be a really good time to start pay, taking those profits, bagging those gains. Because remember, that money's not yours until it's in your account and you've taken that profit. Let's take a look at um, our economic calendar for today. And our economic calendar, um, I already mentioned, we have something on there that could move us around pretty substantially today. And that would be um, the employment situation number. Now, right now, consensus is suggesting a slight improvement over last month. So we'll want to watch that closely. Should that falter at all, um, that could add to the little bit of bearishness that we're seeing in the market this morning. Um, however, if it comes in better than expected, that could continue to encourage those bulls to push or hold in a consolidation way. So watch that closely here this morning. We also have um, over 100 companies reporting earnings today, but far fewer notables this morning to deal with. Um, so let's take a look at a few of those that may move the market around this morning. We're going to hear from LNG. LNG. So keep a close eye on this. This has been running in this downtrend here. Got a little tiny higher low starting to show in here. So a little bit of bullishness. We might start seeing some of those energy plays coming back. They're trying to break those downtrends. So I think energy is something worthy of watching. Uh, COTY, Cody, is reporting today. It looks like it is gapping or moving substantially higher this morning, trying to break its downtrend in this chart. So keep an eye on that. A little bit of a higher low showing up in there. Any rest or pullback in there would definitely set up an opportunity on Cody. Um, CVS. CVS will be reporting today. Shot up dramatically this week, um, as, a, as did a lot of um, health-related stocks. Shot up heavily this week. And as you can see, we're breaking that downtrend here. Um, right now, we're showing a bit of a shooting star pattern on that earnings report. So watch this carefully. We could get some kind of a rest or pullback in here. But as long as we hold some price support, hold above that downtrend, CVS may have some um, upside opportunities. So keep a close eye on that.
that. How about Hershey? Um, one of those big old defensive companies, and I've been seeing quite a few of these defensive sector companies really rallying strongly this week, um, suggesting that there could be some rotation into more of that dividend yielding stock. Uh, take a look right here. Um, we've been rallying higher lows, pretty darn volatile in this move, and we have to break some resistance in this chart to really get moving. But we got a good Divi payer here and it's been rallying toward that resistance. So might be worth keeping an eye on. Um, we're also seeing Marriott, they're gonna report today. Now it's gonna be hard for me to imagine that some of these hotel chains are gonna do really well in the midst of rising pandemic numbers, but it's possible. So watch that closely and just keep in mind that we have considerable resistance in that chart that we're still dealing with. A couple more, uh, TM, Toyota, is reporting and notice that we're moving up this morning today, possibly gapping out. And we've been seeing those um, automotive stocks uh, for GM really responding uh, back up, getting some levity here in the market. So watch those um, uh, automakers. They're starting to look pretty good here. And last but not least, uh, VIAC will be reporting today. Um, I'm not sure, you know, uh, this is going to be particularly notable, but what we have seen is some pretty su substantial recovery in these cable companies, streaming services, things like that um, in a pandemic market, they continue to do quite well. And as you can see, we've been rallying, broke that downtrend, pushing on up, depending on how this reports today, we could see an opportunity setting up in here, rest or pullback opportunity to move higher here in that chart. Let's take a look at, um, at some stocks that could be setting up. But before we do that, guys, if you could do me a quick favor, if you, this is the first time you've seen these videos, if you could please click that subscribe button on YouTube and then also click that bell icon when it pops up so that you can be notified every time I post one of these videos. Also, if you find these videos to be helpful, to be useful, please do me a favor and click that subscribe button, or, or I mean that thumbs up button, and also um, leave a brief comment. It helps us continue to go, grow. Also, please feel free to share these videos with any friends, family, social media, whatever you choose to do. Um, that also helps a lot. I just wanna say thank you to everyone. Never in my wildest dreams would I have guessed that something that has helped me grow my um, account um, trading full-time for the last 15 years would be found useful by so many folks. Um, so I'm very, very humbled by that. And I wanna say thank you to everyone who does take the time to do those things and, and help uh, the channel grow. You guys are awesome. Let's take a look at a few things that we might want to be paying attention to. And I got to tell you, there uh, I've been mentioning this for a while, um, that possibility that we should be paying attention to uh, this gold chart. And as you can see, gold finally surged and broke above this resistance level in the chart. And um, I'm gonna change this, this drawing here. We're breaking that downtrend here as well. So let's watch this carefully. I don't know that I would wanna chase gold right here, but any little rest or pullback in here that holds some price support could easily set up that opportunity to that next higher low. And we could start seeing gold surge back up, particularly in the light of the expectation that we're gonna print a whole bunch more money. So watch that closely, gold may be coming around. Um, we might also wanna keep an eye on silver. Um, silver also breaking that downtrend. Now this does have some resistance above that we still have to be concerned about in that chart, but these precious metals picking up. and. Staying on the metal, uh, the metal idea, not necessarily a precious metal, but take a look at um, Alcoa. Alcoa also rallying strongly yesterday. And you can see we've been running in a little bit of a rising low situation. We've got some resistance in the chart, but even aluminum catching a, a bit of a bounce here. This may have to consolidate to continue filling out this little wedge pattern here to gain enough energy to pop through but it might be worth keeping an eye on. We could also go to X, um, US Steel, um, trying to um, remain bullish here. You can see pushing up through some resistance in the chart, trying to hold that as support. Let's keep an eye on that. Steel may be coming back around and trying to turn higher. 
watch that close. And then if we take a look at some of the miners, take a look at uh, Barrett Gold. Uh, Barrett Gold reported earnings here just recently and they shot up on that earnings report. Notice that Barrett Gold breaking its downtrend here in the chart, breaking through a pretty significant level of price resistance that you can see runs all the way back over here. So any rest or pullback in here now sets up that opportunity of that trend higher. Watch that in there, could consolidate. Watch that in there, Barrett Gold looking good. A Newmont Mining I've mentioned before, um, breaking that downtrend in a strong surge higher. There is a resistance level here that we have to deal with. Could consolidate in here, it could pull back. Watch that closely for that next opportunity. And then Newmont, notice here could be breaking out to all-time highs so keep a close eye on that uh, pretty decent looking chart overall um, and look at some of the um, uh, mining ETFs like um, Nugget. Nugget is a two times um, bull mining um, ETF and you can see that is breaking this downtrend here. So any rest or pullback, any hold of these support levels could set up that next opportunity to the upside um, in those charts. So watch that closely. They're looking pretty good. Um, overall. You also might want to take a look at um, stocks like FedEx. Now, um, obviously there's going to be a lot of shipping um, coming up um, this holiday season. Everybody buying online and probably not going out to the to the big box stores and things to buy. They're just going to do it through their online service. And as you can see, pushing up here, trying to break back above that resistance level in the chart. Keep an eye on FedEx. There may be some upper um, opportunity here. Oh, you know, one other metal I forgot to mention. Take a look at FCX copper. Copper um, holding up well. Now, I've been in this a couple of times, made some really nice money on this this year. And so I may have a little bit of a bias here on this chart, but keep a close eye on that. I think there is that possibility that FCX may still drift itself over toward this trend and give us that opportunity um, into there. Watch that closely, FCX looking pretty good um, overall. Um, also want to mention like UPS, UPS another shipper. Um, we want to keep an eye on this. These guys are, are working um, uh, long, long hours and something you might want to consider if you're receiving all of uh, those packages at your home, uh, give those Give those folks that are, are running hard this year, give them a little bonus, give them a little tip, something like that, because I know they appreciate that. And they're working lots and lots of hours right now trying to get product to everyone um, that's buying even groceries and things online. So watch uh, watch those shippers closely. They, um, there's some good reason that they may have some upside potential here. So I'm running out of time, everyone. I need to get moving. Um, as you guys remember, I had a, hernia surgery about two weeks ago and I've got to go get stitches removed today. So I won't be around um, in the watching the market today, but I want to wish everyone a fantastic uh, day in trading. Uh, great, uh, wish you great results. And as we slide into this weekend, remember everyone to be safe, be careful. These coronavirus numbers are not, it's not a game. Um, hospitalization rates are going through the roof right now. So be very, very careful. Stay safe. Keep your family safe. And we'll see you right back here bright and early Monday morning. Have a great day. Everyone.